But here's the question. Is a high-protein diet actually healthy? Or is it just another trend riding the wave of fitness influencers and diet fads? Let's take a closer look at what the research and real experts actually say. Protein is one of the three macronutrients your body needs, along with carbohydrates and fat. But unlike carbs and fat, your body doesn't store protein for future use. That means you need to get enough every single day. Protein is used to build and repair tissues. It's involved in producing enzymes, hormones, neurotransmitters. It's basically the construction crew of your entire body. From your skin and hair to your immune system and muscles, protein is everywhere. And when it comes to aging, protein becomes even more critical. As we get older, we naturally start to lose muscle mass, a condition known as sarcopenia. Getting enough protein helps slow that process down, keeping you strong, mobile, and independent. The standard guideline, known as the RDA, or Recommended Dietary Allowance, suggests 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. But here's the thing, that's just the minimum amount needed to avoid a deficiency. It's not the optimal amount for thriving. Researchers like Dr. Lane Norton recommend aiming for about 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. That's roughly double what most people consume. So if you weigh 70 kilograms or about 155 pounds, you're looking at 110 to 150 grams of protein per day. And no, that doesn't mean you need to eat steak at every meal. With the right planning, you can easily hit that number with balanced meals. Think eggs or Greek yogurt for breakfast, grilled chicken or tofu for lunch, and lentils or salmon for dinner. Now, some people worry, isn't that too much? Doesn't high protein hurt your kidneys? That's a common myth, but it's not supported by scientific evidence. Study after study has shown that high protein diets do not harm kidney function in healthy individuals. Unless you already have kidney disease or a related medical condition, there's no need to worry. In fact, for many people, increasing protein helps support healthy blood sugar, appetite regulation, and even weight loss. But, and this is important, not all protein is created equal. 